All right, guys, they're playing a vein top lane today into this guy. And um, this game, we're running Fleets, Presence, Alacrity, Lastent, Biscuits, and Cosmic. This game, we're going to be 1v9ing into a very interesting matchup. Like, uh, recently, this champ has been becoming meta in top lane. So, we're seeing a lot of this guy at the moment. Either way, we have Vayne. We're going to be outscaling this guy. Very hard. I also consider this matchup to be a really nice one, even though we're going to get poked down really hard. Um, usually, you can poke for free in lane. And when they pick melee champs, like Vayne into melee is always a free win. When it's champions like this that are ranged as well with a lot of poke, it's a little bit more of a tough lane phase, but you do get to outscale very, very easily. It's also one of the reasons why I have fleet in my runes, so that we can outsustain him. And that's one weakness that Karma has. Like, we, we can basically shove the lane under tower, and she has a really bad time farming. So, basically, the only thing we gotta do this game is just avoid the Qs. Make sure that the wave gets under tower. Go all in when the time is right. And then we win. I think I'm mainly gonna avoid going for autos unless she drops the Q down. But in general, like this, you, you counter you counter this matchup just by shoving lanes out, just because of how hard it is to farm under tower for him. Nice, procked it so I can run away. Oh, my sidestep has failed. Well, thankfully I can sustain it back up anyways. So that's not that bad. It's not really looking for the one v ones. Ah, let's try. We're gonna be maxing Q this game. A lot of people like to max W on Vayne. I always not encourage people to do that. Instead, I always encourage people to go for the Q max all day because uh, Q max lowers cooldown. Plus, uh, it just gets you more damage this way since you can use it more. Oh, that's a Morgana up here, so I can't actually go for trades. It's not that easy anyway. Got him. Okay, I have to run for this one. If that Q hits, I would die. Nice. I'm glad that the flash actually worked, so I got CC'd and they wanted to combine the CC together. To form a really long uh, chain of CCs, but fortunately flashed out of the Morgana queue in time, lift off of it. Now we got two kills for free, basically. That Morgana was top lane for quite a while, by the way. I can see, yeah, I can see him just standing there, like not moving. That probably means he's typing on this keyboard. Probably asking for more jungle ganks, I guess. Or flaming his flaming jungler, who knows. Alright, it's time to back here. Place a ward down so I can see him walk up to me. Got the Berserker Screeves. Let's go and build into this thing. And also, I'm just going to get two pots. Always good to have. We got to be fast, though. It's just a lot of wave clear. <clears throat> It is not fun seeing this champion specifically becoming meta slowly. I don't like that idea. It's the second time I'm seeing it in a row. Uh, I've seen it today. I've seen it uh, two days ago. It is a very difficult matchup for a lot of top laners. It is certainly not an easy one. If you're meleeing into that guy, you're going to be struggling, man. They will be <coughs> Alright, we're going to be slow pushing the wave. I'll be looking to all in him. So, if he drops the Q down, that's a sign for me to go in. Because that's where most of the damage comes from. We'll, uh, we'll see how that's going to go. Let's go all in at the right time. Okay. Here we go. One Q is all it needs. Yep. Stable my E. 
He's really low now, so what I can do, a really fancy trick, is I can just shove the lane now and then just back off. But I might not even have to do that. If Morgana ganks my lane, I think I can walk away from it. She's level 4. It's level 5 soon. She doesn't have R yet. Fortunately, this guy's already 60%. So he doesn't really get to play the game into me anymore. I have no wards. Told you. Thank you very much. I'll play it. I stun the Morgana so that in case I get rooted by uh, by Karma, um, I can then CC Morgana and then she can't follow up with the Q afterwards for the CC chain. Seems that like Pike is also top lane, by the way. So I basically just avoided the CC chain by dropping my E down, like perfect timing. Seems like Pike is still top lane. Uh, I can take a play for free right now, so I don't know, man. I don't get away from this one. Pike is still top lane, apparently. He isn't, like, moved away. Oh, okay, he's there right now. I got my R ready in case Morgana is going to be ganking my lane. What is going on there? All right. Don't have a lot of men anymore. Uh, tough one. Okay, let's walk away. I have to accept that he's gonna freeze the lane. Um, probably. Let's run back. Hmm. He's got. Oh, okay. He's going for the glacial, so he's going like armor to counter me for a while, I guess. I mean, it, it works temporarily. It works now. It doesn't work in like 10 minutes. A tanky karma isn't going to do much. Just early game, it's really broken, and then towards mid game, it's useless, in my opinion. I'll be freezing the wave. Well, not freezing. I'll be building the wave. It's a better explanation, I guess. Very well then. So I'm really low HP. I just gotta be careful about Morgana gangs. Fortunately, I got like two potions, so... And Pike is in bot lane. No, I can out sustain him too. Besides, I have a jungler this game. He's actually ganking my lane right now. That's gank timing. Yeah, let's go. The dream jungler, man. I got a jungler paying attention to it and diving him when he's really low HP. Actually, I had a jungler in the game before this one who never paid attention at all. So having a jungler do paying attention is quite nice. Always good. I need like 200. Well, less than 200. I need like 150. I could sell my Doran's Blade though. I could do it. Uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah, let's just sell it. Oh, wow, he's going Glacial, he's going Warden's Mail. Man, this guy is taking tank serious, man. So much armor, guys. What are we watching? It's like playing against a mall fight right now. How much armor does, doesn't uh, AP Champ need right here? I really don't like the meta. Like, I don't like seeing these people go with these items. Don't like it. But it makes sense, considering we're mostly uh, full AD. We have only AP on support, so it makes sense. We have AD in mid, AD jungle. 
<clears throat> nice. <coughs> Let's shove this one out. I don't think I can kill this guy right now. I need to chunk him down lower. Oh, we're avoiding that stuff. I'm not boarding as much this game. Because to be honest, I think I'd be able to 1 versus 2 if I do it correctly, like the other two times. I'll shove again. This guy seems scared. Morgana's in mid lane. Good to know. Uh, man, that guy has so much armor. What? So much armor. You know, I don't really care if I take damage because I got fleets, potions, blade. I have like three ways of healing back to full HP. So whatever, man. I have too much healing. So any damage I take right now does not really make any diff. I'll be full HP after I take the full wave. I think I'm getting ganked by Morgana, by the way. There's a good chance that I will. She was mid lane previously. Okay. I think I might drag the wave. Possibly. Yes, please, backport. Ah! He was gonna cancel it, I, I knew it. Okay. Yeah, if I Q forward, she's gonna walk away anyways. Hmm. I think I'm getting ganked again, by the way. It's, it's a good chance. The guy was mi uh, mid lane. More autos. Oh, dodge. Not happening today. We got 1.4k. I want to be building into the to, into the new item. Into the experimental, uh, experimental hexblade. Oh, she's backing. All right. She'll probably TP back, I guess. Yep. That's tower gone. If she doesn't TP here, it's gone. Three people mid, so that means uh, two people missing. He's got a frozen heart. <laughs> what? He's not paying attention. Oh man, there's a vein killing you. <laughs> what? He just runs like straight into me. <laughs> Okay. So it's time we're gonna reset here. We have a choice to make. Do we go into hur into hurricane like we always do, or do we go into the experimental hex plate? I actually want to go for it because um, let me showcase to you. So if you're going experimental hex plate, not only do you get like the AD attack speed, the thirty uh, uh, ultimate haste, you know the effect when you press R. But uh, you also gain 300 HP, meaning that they will have to try even harder to kill you. And of course, you have loads, loads of movement speed once you press that ultimate. So it's a lot of fun building that item. Definitely. Nice shove. Uh, let's just grab one more wave. No one's there. Good. I'll shove this wave, then we rotate for a team fight. Yep, let's go. Got him. This should be someone else. I want to kill this. Um, I want to kill this Ezra and Pike. 
All right, very well. Then you get, you go over there. Let's kill you instead then. Yeah, time to reset. So now it's time we go into the new item, experimental hex plate, and then we're gonna start building into probably uh, either Hurricane or Trinity. I think I'm gonna go into Hurricane. There you go. Now you're now you're gonna see, bro. If I press R, I'll be just running across the team fight. I'll be running fast, man. And Hurricane is going to be fun too, because it provides on hit damage and also AoE clearing speed. Oh, and by the way, we got 30 ultimate haste as well. Don't forget about the about the 30 ultimate haste. That means that we can just assassinate someone, get it back fast. Let's grab the wave. And we go next one. Uh, all five people are missing, by the way, so we gotta be a little careful. Only two showing, so three other people are still missing. Nice. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and grab this thing. We can probably get another one. Let's try. Oh, too bad. So that's actually one problem we have in this game. They can basically perma CC me, or at least they can CC chain me with uh, Karma and Morgana together. You can't really dodge the ability either, so you're, you're kind of stuck with it. Um, one thing that we can do is we can go into QSS and then avoid the CC and now we can just keep going. That's a good idea. This might actually be worth building, guys. This, this might actually be very worth it. I'll go for the crit chance for now. Probably QSS is going to do a great job because I just need to get rid of the CC. The CC is the only thing that can kill me. I can outplay everything else in this game. Let's pick up the red buff. Let's go. Baron spawns in 20, and I think we can honestly pick it up incredibly easy if we go in with, with, with the whole team. I don't think he paid attention. My man, Pin's not paying attention. The guy was showing on the map, literally walking at him. Kane is fighting. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Interesting. Anyone else? No one else. Okay. Uh, my opinion, that's probably a Baron call right there. Well, it really depends, but... Could technically attack, technically do it. Just need to follow for the jungle. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely getting it because Astro is actually balling. Nice. And I guess we can pick up set here, maybe. Pike. Goodbye. Sorry, dude. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's time to back off. But before we truly do, I'm just gonna make sure we get this one too. Great. Yeah, we got now we got everything we were looking for. We can uh, we can buy um, we can buy hurricane. And we can also start building into this item, which, you know, completely removes the counter. Because they the only way they can kill me is through is through the CC. If I build QSS, they can no longer CC me, because I can just walk through it. Is there a jungle camp here? Oh, yes, there is. I guess I don't get in range. Well, I guess the game is going to end right here because it's just Pike that remains. Well, maybe not yet. They're about to spawn in like four. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Well, GG, I guess. Hey, this is Bane Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.